unit 2 prose i can't claim trees anymore written by ruskin bond i will go into the story he stood on the grass verge by the side of the road where verge means edge and looked over the garden wall at the old house it hadn't changed much the old house built with solid blocks of granite wasn't altered at all altered means change but there was a new outhouse and there were fewer trees fewer meaning as small number or little he was glad to see that that so tree still stood at the building casting its shade on the wall so the narrator is just moving to the old house there and uh, he is just saying that uh, the house has no changes and he is very happy to see that uh, jackfruit tree was still there and he is also seeing only a new outhouse as well as some fewer trees are there grown and uh, now he is just standing there and uh, watching the old house he remembered his grandmother saying a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls and so the present owners must also be receiving the tree's blessing and the other spot he stood there had once been a turnstile and as a boy he would swing on it going round and round until he was quite dizzy dizzy meaning is giddy and turnstile means a mechanical gate which you have a uh, uh, roundabout when you just move you can move around and round there now the turnstile was gone the opening vault up tall holly hocks grew on the other side of the wall some changes were there as turnstile was when he was a boy he used to play in that turnstile now the turnstile was taken off and now the wall has been built up he has seen all, also the flowers that is holly hocks also grew on both the side of the wall what are you looking at it was a disembodied voice moments later A girl stood framed between dark red holly hocks, staring at the man. She was only twelve or thirteen, with lively eyes and long black hair. Now you see here. Suddenly, when he was seeing the old house, he heard a voice. Okay, embodied means only he can hear the voice of a person, but uh, you cannot see the person who it is. Okay. Now he is seeing. Just he is hearing the voice turning. a girl was standing there on 12 or 13 years old girl with a long black hair i am looking at the house is it yours he said he asked no it's my father why do you want to buy it and what was what does your father do he is only a colonel only a colonel well he should have been a brigadier by now the man burst out laughing it's not funny she said even mom mummy Says he should have, he should be a brigadier. It was on the tip of his tongue to make a witty remark, but he did not want to give offence. Offence means to insult someone. He don't want to insult. So when he is just seeing the girl, the girl is talking. He is asking, she is asking whether he is going to get buy the house. And uh, in turn, the narrator is asking, "What is your father?" The girl is telling Colonel. and she is talking about that uh, he she thought that she uh, the father will be a brigadier but uh, his mother also is expecting so all these things when he hears when he heard the girl the, uh, the narrator just uh, started to laugh and at last he was about to tell something but he does not want to hurt that girl so she he did not tell and do you want to buy it no he said well she said if you don't want to buy the house what are you looking at i used to live here 25 years ago as a boy as a young man and then my grandmother died and we sold the house and went away so here see what happened here the grandmother that is uh, he was there before 25 years the narrator was in this house only and his grandmother died and so they sold the house and they went away she was silent for a while taking in this information then she said and you would like to buy it back now 
but you don't have the money he did not look very prosperous no i wasn't thinking of buying it wanted to see it again that's so how long have you lived in it with three years would you like to come in and look more closely wouldn't your parents mind they have gone to the club they won't mind i am allowed to bring my friends home even elderly friends like me how old are you so they are, they he is telling that he was a young boy here a boy as well as young man also here and after that some silent a pause was there and again the girl is asking whether you are going to get the buy the house is telling and she is also asking whether he is he is not so prosperous so both of them are talking and at last the narrator is asking the girl how long they were staying there in that house the girl is telling 3 years and he ca- she is calling him inside okay but uh, uh, the narrator is telling uh, wouldn't your parents mind so that girl is telling they all went to club so they don't mind anything i'll bring my friends all so he is asking whether they'll bring the elderly person here you will you will just they'll allow you to bring elderly friends also here so again the girl is starting to ask started to ask how old are you okay so he is telling that i am middle aged person but i am feeling young today he is telling and he is telling that uh, I, i to prove that i will jump over this wall and just get inside your house oh just middle aged but feeling young today and to prove it he decided he would climb over the wall instead of going round to the gate he got on the wall all right but had to rest there breathing heavily so he was about to move this jump over the climb over the wall but he cannot do he just breathed very heavily middle aged man on the flying chapel he muttered to himself i help you she said gave him her hand he slithered down into a flower bed shattering the stem of a holly oak so chapel means a person who will do in a circle okay he swings from one end to other like that he is feeling it see as he walked across the grass he spotted a stone bench under a mango tree it was on the bench which is the grandmother used to rest when she was tired of pruning rose bushes broken villa let's just sit here he said i don't want to go inside she sat beside him on the bench so both of them were talking suddenly they saw a bench under a mango tree stone bench so they are going there and uh, he is remembered about his grandmother just she used to rest there whenever she was tired of uh, just uh, taking pruning pruning the roses okay yes okay pruning roses bush rose bushes and bogan villa understood yes okay okay just uh, they both are sitting under the stone bush i mean on the stone bench under the mango tree and each and everything started to be rem- remembering the narrator the grandfather's piano car veranda everything like that i used to climb the jackfruit tree he said opening his eyes so he's telling i will climb the jackfruit tree We'll stop here and we'll continue the next rest of the story in the next class. Thank you.